Hi, this is video number two on how to create a Canopy Hive model in Cloud Compare. On video number one, we prepared our point cloud for the steps we'll be following this uh, on this video. If you didn't see uh, the video where you where we prepare a point cloud, please watch video number one. I will link um, this video in the description. So here we have our point cloud with containing only the area of interest and we got rid of uh, a bunch of outlier points. So the next step for the canopy height is to create a model of our ground. So we'll call it a digital terrain model. Uh, on Cloud Compare, we'll be using the class simulation uh, function to create a cloth a simulation of the, the terrain from this image. So we'll select our point cloud and I will click here. So I'll click here and then we have a cloth simulation filter. I will select relief because this reflects the type of terrain that we have here. In advanced parameter setting, uh, these parameters, depending on the data set you'll be using, they would change a little bit. Uh, for this data set, uh, these this parameters were working well, so 2.0 is cloth resolution uh, for 500 max iterations and 0.1 classification threshold. And it's very important that you click here to export your cloth mesh. You can uh, take a look here to see what those parameters mean. With this set of parameters, and don't forget to click here, we'll click OK. So this class simulation filter uh, will classify our point clouds in ground points and not ground points. So if we take a look at the ground points, so this, these are all of the points that this image identified as being uh, ground points. Uh, it's not perfect. It, it depends on the quality of your image. You see, you see here that it's uh, close to perfect on this field and on this field, but it's not working at well on those two field, fields. Maybe it's the quality of the mosaicing, the quality of the, the point cloud. So my suggestion here would be to treat each filter, I'm sorry, each field separately and then adjust uh, the parameters on this uh, class simulation. But basically what this uh, tool will do, it will uh, identify the ground points and will simulate uh, a cloth. So we have a model of the of the ground. Okay, and here you can see of ground points. And the mesh here is the simulation of the ground. Okay, so to do, um, to perform the CHM, the Canopy Hive model, we have all we need now. So we have uh, our point clouds and also the ground model. So we'll produce now, uh, we'll compute now the distance between the mesh and the point cloud. And this will give up us the height of the plants. So I will select both the point cloud and the mesh. And we'll click here on compute cloud mesh distance. I just keep the parameters as is. And you see here on the background, it gives us an estimate of how it will look like. And here I can I click at compute. I'll click OK. So here we have 
not the elevation, but the height of each uh, point compared to the ground, not to the sea level. If I click here, I can make visible, um, I can make the color scale visible. So you see what it represents. So you have ranges from, well, negative 2.9 to 2.7. Um, meters. Okay, we're working with meters. You can also adjust this uh, this color scale. So, for example, if I bring this uh, around here, it will adjust the color scale, and then you can feel free to to play with it. All right, so dark green would be low regions. And then as close it as close it gets to red it means taller uh, taller points. All right, you can always save um, this point clouds using the save saving tool. And you can also export this canopy height model. Yeah, I'll just twist a little bit so you can have a, a different look to it. So the taller ones are yellow and uh, reddish. How do you export it to a raster? This is tricky. Um, you have to define the step for this data set, I'm using 16 centimeters. So once uh, one pixel on my raster will represent 16 centimeters later on. Because um, I want um, to deal with, uh, I want to identify the tallest plants in my case, I'm selecting that I want the maximum height the maximum values to interpolate. And then I will update the grid using the height grid values. Height grid values is our surface model, okay? So the elevation. But I want to export my canopy height model. So then I will change the active layer to C2M, so claw. Uh, cloud to mesh sign distances and now you are seeing the CHM this step is very important so don't forget to use the height grid values to update the grid and then you change it so this is a bug on the software but then you have to change it to your CHM and then you export the raster and you export the active layer So you've got to do this to um, successfully export your CHM. You click OK, you choose a file, uh, a directory, choose a, a file name, and then it, it's going to be a TIFF file. And then you just save it. And we're done. You have your CHM all done, exported, and ready for you to extract your plant height values per plot. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments.